make you stay after. Uh, I, have, I have another meeting after this, so the same you thing. You have fire department, uh, right? Yes. Yes. Is there a beer involved in that? These masks. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I could set I this room up so. for six feet. And Kate's like, how many chairs? I go. I got 16 in there. So I've been trying to take my dad to these medical visits. No, I got to wear a mask. Oh, it's so far away. Do. Do so I got him a face shield thing. I can't see. You can't even <laughs> Dad, you got to wear one or the other. No, 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 no one's no, cutting you any slack. <laughs> We were, talk, we were talking about today where you see people wearing masks that you just got to think, why? Well, they discovered In your car by yourself. Yeah, they, people have masks on I see them right driving by and I think, they're so damn hot. Although I love these, you can get these wet so they keep you cool around your neck. Yeah. And then they can come up like this. All right. Uh, and then the other, other one is back in the room, no, can you run? Uh, I'm gonna, he's he's got it. The public oh, okay. on this device, so I'm okay. going to turn on the mic now so they'll be able to hear what, everything we say. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, hello, this is Craig Flaherty, the chair of the Sewer Commission. Uh, we're in room 206. Uh, uh, this is going to be the regular, uh, regular portion of our meeting. Uh, I see two public participants here. Uh, uh, Todd McClatchy, can you confirm that you can hear me? Yep, I can hear you just fine, thanks. Okay, uh, and then I also have another caller. Uh, I currently identified as caller one. Can you, uh, can you identify yourself? Hi, uh, this is Hi Schuster from Viking Construction. Okay, <laughs> I believe you guys are here on the same matter, correct? That's correct. Okay, yes. uh, well, uh, with that, maybe the chairman can move uh, the agenda around uh, to hear your appeal. So, uh, Channel 79, are you up and running? Sounded like he said he was good through the doors. Okay. All right. I assume that they're recording. Um, uh, for the benefit of the recording, I will say that this is the uh, Darien Sewer Commission regular meeting of Tuesday, July 7th. Uh, 2020. Uh, it is now about 5.45 p.m. Uh, we were delayed in starting uh, because we went uh, into executive session first. Um, uh, that uh, we have uh, since come out of executive session and restarted our regular meeting. Uh, uh, the chairman is going to take item uh, four of uh, the agenda first, which is sewer user fee appeals. Uh, first item on the agenda there is Old Town Hall Homes, uh, 719 uh, Boston Post Road. Who would like to do the intro? Should I ask the appellant? Or Darren, do you want to? Or Ed? You went over with Penny. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, we're going to have Darren give us a little bit of the background, <laughs> then we'll come to you, gentlemen. Okay, in the, in the board pack, in the board package, um, there's a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet details a total of $1,268.80. Um, we have been in contact with Aquarium Water, and apparently there, there's been no water usage there since um, December of 2018. It's my understanding that no bill has been made in October, and no second payment made either. Um, and let me and let me just jump in there. I do have a check from Viking Construction for the full amount of the fee sitting in our safe. It was part of the um, agreement that I made with Viking Construction to get their permit from the building department released. They wouldn't um, release it for their solar to go onto the roof until they had paid their fee, the sewer fee. Uh, the sewer fee. Um, we thought it was beneficial to move that along for them to, so that they could finish. Um, thus, I have the check. I'm holding on to it for full payment. They, they uh, acknowledged they were going to come in to appeal. So we've held on to it until this meeting tonight. Because the commission is the, uh, the, only, the only authority body. to be able to honor such an appeal. Correct. But this is fairly common with construction projects uh, in terms of uh, appeals of this nature. In terms of houses get knocked down and they come in and tell you. knocked down. They first have to come to us for a demolition permit <coughs> because the building department will not issue a demolition permit until the sewer is disconnected. Um, the only other thing I would add to the spreadsheet here is 
that um, that first line, see it says irrigation, the top line? Yeah. So um, that is included in the 12, 6, 8, 80. Well, that all that irrigation also says on the bottom part that they put, uh, you know, eight CCFs this past April. I don't know what they were irrigating. Uh, me either, but um, Aquarian oh, has stated that uh, they list that meter as an irrigation meter. So I, I think the commission should just know <coughs> that, um, that top line. If indeed it is irrigation and we didn't verify it, we're going by Aquarian, and Aquarian recommends that we don't go by whatever they say, but Aquarian <laughs> listed it as an irrigation meter. Well, so perhaps the appellants can clarify any questions that we have. Uh, so the matter's been introduced. Uh, Let me do one. I'm sorry, right. Craig. Just one more item. Yeah, and please. I, and I, I know you guys have read the package, but um, for uh, 4A, page 107, yes, I just want to put, there are some dates in there. Sir. That are important because it's going to help you possibly decide on if at all uh, this appeal is uh, taken and considered and okay. what portion of the payment, if any, needs to be made. So Old Town Hall Senior Housing was demolished uh, in February 2019 uh, and then there was no water use between February 2019 or March of through March of 2020. Uh, and then the sewer uh, was reconnected in March 2020 uh, without a permit, it says, and then reinspected May May 2020. So uh, our uh, so there was no water use for uh, call it 11 months of 2019, mm -hmm. but we're uh, you go October. Yeah, we're October. we're October to October. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. Our bills are from October to now. Yeah, yeah. You, based, based on based on July to July. July. You want to save me here, Bob? You owe me one. <laughs> on the calculations. <laughs> oh. I I didn't okay. calculate. Sorry. Okay. But um. <laughs> so it, so months. just so I have this correct, the the nineteen bill would have been the one that went out last October. Correct. This October we'll get the 2020 bill. 18, 19. They're they're listed as 17, 18, 19. So the 19 bill was last October, and then the 20 bill would be this. This October. This October. Yeah. So from. Yeah. So then they they have nothing, because it's July to July, and then it bills, the two day three months later in October for that year, correct? Mm -hmm. am I, am I, or am I missing something? Seven, one, 19, two. So there's a period of time, so the, the bill would have been based on water use starting July 1st, 2018. Yes. Running through uh, June 30th, 2019. Yes, and correct. So they're saying that if we included, uh, well, at least June, May and uh, April and March, four months, and perhaps uh, February, five months. Five, yeah, if it's uh, five months of uh, no zero water use um, uh, for that analysis period. Okay, but so you're you're saying where we're, you're going to. You're, you're billing months. in the, but we're billing in the future. So in the, since, I mean, in reality, they haven't used any water during this period, and that's what they're saying. They're yeah. saying they're billed in the future from October of 2019, because remember, you're billed ahead, not in the rears. Yeah. So they're billed ahead, so they're saying they're not using, they haven't used anything. Well, they did say the building was reconnected in March, uh, and so... That's if 20. water was used uh, this year, this year, 2020. since March 2020, it is, it is well, going but then you go back to the infamous low rate because of the way it works in the 236 27 or whatever yeah. that foolish number is. Are you looking at 
Yes, uh, maybe this is a very good time uh, for uh, the appellant to please introduce yourself uh, for the record and uh, provide whatever information that you have that you think we need to hear. Uh, well, my name is Hi Schuster, work for Viking Construction, the, uh, the general contractor for the project. Um, the school was, uh, was re-hooked up. The building is still not occupied. Um, there's still no certificate of occupancy for the building. There's no sewer usage. There is no water usage through the state. But my question to you is, you, at this moment, do you have the ability to use the sewer system? You pay for the ability to use these systems, the system, as well as using the system. We don't have certificate of occupancy, so we don't have the ability to use the sewer. The sewer is connected the from ability. the building to the street. So if a contractor Correct. flushed a toilet, that water would enter our sewer system. Okay. Okay. Um, and that has been the case, I believe, as the letter describes uh, since March. Uh, I will admit that I'm having trouble getting my eyes in my head yeah. <laughs> on the dates of, of yeah. what the yeah. what what the appeal. So, uh, uh, your request specifically, if you could. Uh, uh, put your request in words as to the nature of your appeal and the amount of your appeal. Mr. Schuster. I'm sorry, I, I did not understand. The, I, yeah. I don't understand. The, so you, cut out. Uh, there was a bill that the, you received from the town of Darien for Twelve hundred and sixty-eight dollars and eighty cents in October of two thousand nineteen. Twelve hundred and sixty-eight dollars uh, and change, and uh, you're asking for some consideration on that bill because the uh, the building was offline through March of twenty twenty. Correct. Yes, Susan. Did we not just establish that this bill runs from July of 2018 to June of 2019? That was, that's the data that we use to send the bill, right? right? But you're paying for the current use, the current, the use for the year at, uh, like like from. Data so then the next yeah. bill they get will reflect the fact that they weren't using the water. Which, so that I, in my opinion, they should be paying, maybe they don't have to pay the 39, which is maybe irrigation, but they need to pay for the rest of it, which is 169, that's $1,030.90. Because they used that water. Yeah. And they ran that water through the sewer system back July, August, September, October, November. So when are they going to pay for that? Now, but, uh, Remind me, we don't we have something where when something is demolished, we take it offline? Yes. Yeah. And how does that typically work? Well, they typically, you do not demolish a building and still have the water connected. The building department won't yeah. issue a permit until so the sewer is disconnected <clears throat> and the water is disconnected. Yeah. So it, it was. I mean, they demolished the building. We all saw that it was demolished. We don't think we need. Sure. That was Pro after. Proof of that, that was after, after this period. Yeah. Her point, it was after the water was used and, yeah. So this next bill will be much less for them because they weren't using any water. Although they did start up in March, uh, clearly 12 CCFs, they probably yeah. put all the toilets in and started flushing them to see if they worked. So is it, is it that, is it that, I'm just again. I'm trying to remember what we've done in the past in these situations. I believe we have granted appeals while there was no connection. You prorated. Prorated at times. Yeah, for the months. Or if it got so low, I think Bob had talked about the minimum yeah. uh, charge because you have the ability yeah. to use the sewer at certain times. Yeah. So you've done both. Yeah. On those. 
So this this can't go be gone below the minimum because they still have the right to collect. <coughs> Is that kind of where we're at? That's the floor. No, they use the water. Well, it can't be below the minimum. They use the water. It, okay. It was what, do you, what do you got, Bob? You're using. Yes, it was. I'm well, oh, sorry. Wait, Susan, it was connected. You're right. using water data prior to bill in the future. Yeah. Yes. So they're not actually using water during this bill period, I, in I, my opinion. Which bill period? The, the one that they're speaking of, the, the, 2000, one the 2019 one, that the one that they're disputing. But that is the water from July 1st, 2018 to June 30th, 2019. That's the data you're, you, we've used We're to not, yeah. set a bill. Yes. yes. Okay. It's just what we have to do because we don't bill month by month. So what are you going to do for the bill in 2020? That's I got you there. This, this has been a years long discussion. Okay, this years, is the same years, way years, as when, we, when they opened Parklands. Yep. They don't have data in the rears, so they have to use actual data and bill in two or three month cycles. Unfortunately, it's more work for the, the administrative staff, but in my opinion, it's the proper way to do it. That's when they come back online so and do an this, actual bill. This provides us a, a, a mechanism through this process by which we could, we could maybe uh, grant an appeal, but have requirements in that appeal for uh, you know, quarterly analysis of how this thing fills up again. Yes, I mean, we, you've, have you not done quarterly analysis or monthly? I don't know what you've done on like. We sent out new bills after on, new on, people have when new when new structures have come online. Large yes. structures. I'm, I'm sorry if I can. Ask, yes, sir. I can go ask ahead. Another question. Yes, sir. Please. Because you're you're it's not, you're not talking calendar years. You're talking sewer years. You know, um, and we've been talking since February, uh, from February 2019 through March of 2020, which is 13 months. So our appeal was worded properly. Should it be that we're asking for a full year abatement or relief, whether it comes from partial from one year and partial from another, or um, some sort of proration on two years? Uh, is that, is that a, a better way, or, do we, or are we for just one year of bill to be uh, wait? Everybody understand the explanation? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. What time period are we talking about? How much money? Anyone want to answer that question? No. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't know. The, 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 it's a difficulty in our billing system, right? The way we look backwards to bill forwards and, and current based on, we have this when tenants change in a, in a house and there's five kids and then there's zero. And people come in and say, I'm paying a sewer bill for five kids and I didn't rent the house then. Um, or landlords having, you know, when houses sell and they had a lot of use and now they have no use or they had no use and now they have a lot of use. The, the reality is the, the no use to a lot of use gets a deal for a year. And the, the lot of use to no use is paying for the past use in some ways on an on a almost estimated basis. And there's a flaw there, and I think this exposes that flaw. They're getting a bill for what the last use was beforehand, and then they shut it off, which was zero. And then when you restart the whole thing and fill it up with a lot of people, there may be a huge deal there. And the, the, the egg that you're cracking open cuts both ways, in that we as a commission could look at your your immediate use, once you start using it, we could estimate a number of people, retroactive plus, because I mean, basically you had a, a bill of what, $5,700 in 2018, we could call that $10,000 now because you've doubled the occupancy of what we'd anticipate. We're due the first year you're online and we won't get because of our billing system the way it is. So in terms of pure equity, I'd say we waive this and, and we retroact, we look at the way we bill going forward such that we catch up in the first year. Because we've talked about this, Bob, a yes. lot. And we appreciate the applicant coming forward and seeing what, where there's it may, a possible injustice here on your end, which may be a greater injustice to the sewer commission a year from now. And I think the way that we've tried to wade through uh, appeals in general is if presented with better data, uh, we can make a better decision. So the data here is that they were closed for most of 2019, for 11 out of 12 months. Um, uh, so 
Well, do you want to turn that into a motion? I'd, motion I'd make a motion that based on that, we have the minimum charge being that one month out of the 12 was and the ability to use the sewer, and that would be for the minimum charge. Well, where, where's your one month? That's uh, not the year. The year the year is October. Right. So it's not a month. If yeah, you're but saying they, but, but they're saying it's thir overall it's 13 months. So oh, there. Oh, all right. You could do yeah. half, you know, for, you know, X months from this year, X months of that year at the end but of the year. Either day, way, it's the minimum. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good with with, with zeroing out the the 2019 as long as I get a reasonable explanation as to why they hooked up a lot of permit. Well, let's let's go there. <clears throat> let's go there second, Bob. During that billing period that were is in question, did any did they have a connection any time during that billing period? Well, uh, so the billing period is July to July, basically June to July. Uh, so, uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the answer is yes. Yeah. So let's just do the minimum charge for that year, okay. or for that billing period, of whatever the minimum is. To from the from the end of July, uh, the end of July. Rather than trying to like split hairs, the, the so water use for that. What's our current minimum charge, Darren? Thirty-seven fifty, I believe. It's in that range. Thirty-seven fifty. Two thirty-seven fifty. I believe. Okay. I think you're right. So I mean, that's that's the easiest way to do it. Would you agree? I'm, I'm missing it. From where? For what part do you any want to do part, the minimum? Any part of a year. If you have the ability to use the, you should pay something. That's the minimum. Yes, you, okay. that's your connect. That, that's that's your ability to use it, not actual well, water. You get you get 37. I think it's 37 and a half right. CCFs for free. So they probably, after that you get you pay. They probably you, didn't use to pay that. the minimum. You're paying for being hooked up. So they were hooked up part of the billing period we're talking about. Part of it, even a day. Let's trigger the minimum. And be okay. Done. Do you agree with that logic? But so you're, so that means that that, that they're also going to trigger the minimum. I mean, I don't know when. Well, that's the problem I have. That's this year is going to be even more convoluted because that, that's exactly where I went. But we we need to change our policy for new bills. That's we've talked about that many times. How do we do a new build and figure it out? And in this case, we have the 2018 and 2017 with half the units. So we could come to an agreement that that's how, if we have an existing and we knew what the use was and we doubled in size, whatever, and come up with an idea of how we can recoup our costs when things come online. That's a whole other argument. We have to, we have to come up with a policy for that. We don't have yet. But would you, I, I'd make a motion that we reduce the, is it 1268? 50 across 80. About 12, 68, 80. 80 to the minimum of 237.50 and ask for either a new payment, give the check back, um, whatever, however you guys want to handle that. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second on the motion. I'll second. Okay, we have a second on the motion. Any further discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. Okay, We've got Bob and Reese in favor. All those opposed to the motion. Susan, I'm going to abstain. Uh, motion carries two one zero. Uh, so the appeal was granted to two hundred thirty seven dollars and fifty cents is going to be your new charge as the minimum fee uh, for being connected for the sewer. Uh, Thank you very much. All right. Have well, don't hang up. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Well, Hold on, uh, Mr. Schuster. Are you still there? Yeah. All right. So uh, uh, Mr. Hill is going to put you on the spot and ask why you connected to the sewer without a permit. Uh, I did not. <laughs> um, um, yes, but it. unfortunately, you're in charge. So it was it was it's done the under your watch or whoever was in that position at that time. What exactly happened and how can we do something to make sure it doesn't happen again? Yeah, I, I think that. It, this was a, a forgive me. I think this was a kind of a cope. Uh, I'm I'm not the site super and the the subcontractor that uh, um, did the did the inspection. I know took pictures. I think this is a kind of a COVID related area. Not in Mar in people. March. Who who is There's the sub the, who is the subcontractor? Sean's loan. The, sub, the site subcontractor. Yes. Um, uh, I don't. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't like pointing fingers or things at people. Um, I and you know, well, I'm told by our uh, our deputy director that it was Sean's lawns. 
There's a copy of the permit in here. Sean, it's Frank or somebody from Sean's the lawn. The copy that took out the permit is, uh, was uh, Sean's lawn. Okay. Oh. But you're not necessarily saying they're the, they're the company that installed the sanitary sewer? Well, no, it would be the oh, no, they're, they're the plumber, they, Frank Kubel. Well, you know, uh, you know, the, and they, they, they did the, um, you know, the, the exact circumstance of the hookup and the, and the covering up and the, the cover, the, the delay for inspection uh, is, is from what I was told is, on-site inspection and the, you know, I, I don't have a, a hundred percent promise on not the first on site that was just there. I am overall responsible for the project and yet there have been, you know, when, when the work was, was uh, uncovered and the work was done, it should have been inspected and the permit been issued that same day. Uh, there was for safety issues and exposure, the, uh, you know, the, it was covered, pictures were taken and it was covered up. Um, and then to physically inspect, it was when uh, everybody was available, it was uncovered for reinspection. Hold on one second, please. Darren, hold on one second, please. Darren or Ed, do you have a uh, comment on how this occurred? We didn't know. So, yeah, I mean, in, in my mind, I don't believe a permit was pulled. Yeah, to do you've got to get the permit <laughs> before, before you do the work. <clears throat> yes. Uh, so whether or not inspection was delayed is irrelevant because it's my understanding you didn't even have a permit to initiate the work, uh, much much less call yeah, for an inspection. There was a confusion on a, on a separate permit specifically specifically for that. There were there's, there were there's been over 15 different permits that have had to been issued and uh, obtained for this project. And you know the the separate the this separate permit um, was issued and pulled on uh, May 5th. So your explanation is that it was an oversight in that you thought your other permits covered the work? Correct. And was it uh, Viking Construction's responsibility to pull all permits or Sean's Lawn's responsibility no, this, to pull permits? It, this permit was Sean's Lawn's. Do you have any other questions, Bob? I don't have any questions, I have comments, but I'm going to keep them to myself because... Do um, you want to get out of here tonight? Well, yeah, I mean, I, to me, it's, it's, it, it was using COVID as an excuse. I have a question. Because... Yes, Susan. I, mean, I would like to know if this is the years. largest project that Viking Construction has worked on in their time of working on projects. Is this the largest project, Mr. Schuster, that you've ever worked on so that 15 permits was very difficult for you to manage? Do you hear the question, Mr. Schuster? In the town of Darien, this, this was this the largest, this is the largest project in the town of Darien. But do you work on projects in other communities where you need to pull permits and is 15 the usual number that you, you can manage? Yes, we work on many projects. Yeah. Every town has different requirements. Every town has different uh, permits. Every town has different inspectors. Different, uh, uh, you know, from from one town to another. Thing. And do you have this difficulty in other towns of staying on top of your permits? Do I? I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Do I? Have uh, Ms. Ms. Cameron you know, asks. Uh, uh, do you have difficulty staying on top of your permits in other towns? No, I think I think what I'm hearing from uh, my fellow commissioners is uh, uh, a failure of oversight uh, doesn't do much to uh, satisfy us. Uh, and I, I guess all we can really do at this point uh, is ask both uh, Viking and Sean's to be more diligent in the future, especially as it relates to pulling sewer permits in the tower, town of Darien. And I understand you're, you're the, uh, this is specifically the sewer, you know, um, the, you know, some other things in the town of Darien, like bring up permit wise, 
is you know we pulled a building permit and then we you know which had drawings and shown a sol uh, you know, solar system for building and got approval for the per we got approval for the whole thing and uh, we were delayed from actually getting a you know we had to go back and get a super permit. I mean, a solar permit, even though it was already shown on the drawing, we have to go back to zoning, even though it's already originally on the. So, well, look, you know, uh, I, I it, would say yep. that uh, uh, my experience with the town of Darien is it, it does attempt to be very customer oriented, uh, and and uh, generally we are trying to help people do the right thing, uh, not obstruct them. Um, so if you have, um, if you have, let me finish. If you have uh, comments on how you think uh, the town of Darien could handle the permit process more smoothly, we'd be happy to receive those comments in planning and zoning or in the building department or at DPW. Well, I, I understand that. You know, uh, the, the question was raised, do we have, did we have issues with, typically have issues with permits? You know, we're not trying to, to avoid something or, 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 or circumvent anything. We all try to follow the process and follow the rules. Uh, I don't know why Sean's lawns um, dropped the ball on this specific uh, permit. Um, and uh, as soon as uh, it was made, they made sure they immediately went in and got the permit that was required. Okay, thank you. Any further comment, folks? Ready to move on? All right, uh, we're all set. Thank you very much for calling in and answering our questions. Have a good night. Thank you. Um, all right, so we are down to... Back to minutes. Just me, yeah. So I'm just kind of monitoring if anyone else shows up, but I doubt they will. Uh, all right, item I'm number <laughs> two, uh, three uh, minutes from June 2nd. Hi, Rod, I'm Goodwin. Thanks to you and uh, yeah. Bob, we were. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as uh, written. I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Uh, All those opposed? All those abstaining? Abstaining. Just Got to help you out. There? Abstaining? Approved? Uh, we yeah. weren't there. You well, we get. Vote. You can still vote if. if yeah, yeah. Watch yeah. Watch uh, uh, if you have faith in me. Doesn't matter, we, we approved them. We're, you're, they're approved. <laughs> We've got two. Uh, we've got two two vote approvals tonight. It's very exciting. Um, item number five: connection fees ordinance review and discussion. Okay, um, in the board package is uh, a draft which was prepared by town council. I recall the last meeting we said town council was still working on it. Mm -hmm. And that's the product. You'll, if you go through it, you'll notice there's some spots that still need to be filled in. But um, aside from those little entries, that's the town council approved version. That's great. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get that as the. Okay. Uh, Do you want to look at one? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't get that. That's what it was. Oh, oh, so okay. I mi miss. I, dro I dropped the ball on that part. I was. I thought this was the one that was, that's why I was wondering why there was a page between that and the, the long neck point, pear tree point, uh, all that. Yeah, apologies for that nitrogen credit stuff being mixed in. No, nitrogen credits are all, all well and good. I was going to actually mention that well, we can fill in the clean water would lower our nitrogen credit number, but I figured that would lead me into another half hour discussion <laughs> and I kept my mouth shut on that one. Would, would we want the payment to go to us? The sewer, we can fill in the blank on 3A6, the last one. Uh, I mean, is that just town and dairy? And it doesn't even need to be. Well, I'd rather we mm -hmm. get it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want the money? <laughs> who do, who do uh, people, when they pay us, they just pay the town and dairy? Town and dairy. Yeah, Should be made out to Connecticut Allstate Heating. It's not the dairy and sewer commission? Or is it, no? General fund? No, no, the general fund. It's no, just they handle the all. accounting. That's okay. all. Okay. They, got the right, they got the right account. Reese. <clears throat> Connecticut Allstate Heating, better known as cash. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was always thinking of doing LLC. Cash. <laughs> uh, now, the other, he, he gave an optional provision, this 3A-2, 
um, which I'm just trying to get my head around here. Uh, no connection fee shall be required of owners of lots which lots are served by a public sanitary sewer installed by the developer of that subdivision. I see. So we would have a deal with the developer. Uh, Connection fees wouldn't apply to the pro rata share would supersede this. Yeah, got it. So, so that, that's, a good, that's a good option to include. Maybe you yeah. need to you get rid of one of the lots, <coughs> of lots which, <coughs> lot, which are served. Get rid of the second lots, right? No connection fee bears part of all. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with lots it. which are served by public. Oh, it's just yeah, specifying yeah. those lots. Which yeah, lots? I, I hear you. I think of it's lots. Right. I think <coughs> it is. Uh, that are or which are. So which the last are, yeah. item is uh, to come up with the fee schedule and insert that fee schedule. Yes. So um, in, in this vein, we have a fog ordinance that is ready to be approved. Uh, we seem to have a, a sewer connection fee ordinance ready to be approved, subject to <coughs> us agreeing on a fee schedule. Yes. Yeah. So do we want for the next agenda to have an item where we Oh, discuss both. those uh, well, well no, I'm actually saying actually you've, you've discussed the fee schedule okay and you could discuss it again and we can insert it again um, but to remind the Commission last time with the fog ordinance you simply approved that the document was ready to go yes. forward with the public hearing yes still open to discussion yes still I open agree. to revision it's not final but not final we're ready there for public hearing yeah so my question is, are we ready to go to public hearing on this matter as well? And should we, uh, A, set about attempting to schedule that public hearing? Should we put this all into one lump sum public hearing where we do uh, all rates? Yeah, I was just going to say that. and fogs in September or October? That would be in September. Well, that's First week of September. Two months away. That's June, nothing. So yeah. oh. I think that's a good is idea. Is it July? It is July. <laughs> Long year. I understand that. That's why I said, isn't it? I wasn't so sure myself. <laughs> so at the August meeting, you'll get a presentation from me on comparable rate <clears throat> last year, this year, yeah. like I always do to give yeah. you a uh, feel for what our expenses plus our rate is going to generate. Okay. If there's a gap or there's a. You know, All right. My apologies for making you forget what month it was. So then I, what I would say is uh, in terms of editing this document uh, and getting it ready for our next public hearing, which shall be initiated by our annual rate change discussion, uh, we're going to keep uh, paragraph 3A2. Uh, we're going to insert the previously discussed but still changeable uh, fee schedule for sewer connection fees and we are going to add Town of Darien at the end of paragraph 3A6, um, and we're gonna handle all three matters in one public hearing for the sake of expediency. Sounds good. All I right. Think, I think pushing that off too gives the opportunity maybe people will actually be able to come here and discuss. We'll find, we'll find out. It would be better for public hearings to have the public. I need your crystal ball, Reese. I know. Um, item six. I'm wishing. No, uh, Reese, Reese, work. The, the, the RTM request for an audit of the Stanford WPCA. Okay, I was, uh, I, I am in actually uh, discussions with um, finance for getting some firms and I just have to push that forward. You know, so okay, so we- I'm, I'm working on that now. More next time. Yep, so it, we'll still get the firm and some cost estimates from them. Well, along with how the scope. extensive is that gonna be? I mean, basically we just had a negotiation so you have like a pretty good look at, under the covers of what's going on. You know, um, my look under the covers and somebody that knows what they're looking for yeah. under the covers is, is something a little bit different. And I'm interested to see what they would do. Okay. Um, I've never been involved with an audit from this side anyway. Can't hurt. Uh, item seven, sewer assessment, <clears throat> Long Neck Point Road, discussion and action. That was the one that <clears throat> yeah, was a little jumpy. package. Um, I don't know if anybody's familiar with this property. Yep. You are the, two, yep. two lots, and there was a house straddling the property line, so the house occupied 
the single house occupied two lots. So when we put the um, sewer in, we put two laterals in, just in case somebody ever bought the property and knocked the house down and tried to make it into two lots. Lo and behold, it took a decade, but that's exactly what happened. Um, somebody bought the property, knocked the house down, reverted back to two lots. This is Angola? Yep. Yes. yes. Right. We don't know. Journey's end. So yes. The property was actually named. So we yep. only assessed them one assessment. And um, I've already told the attorneys that um, there would be another assessment due for that second lot. The first property has been sold, the second one's for sale. No, it's been sold. Do we have a specific? Sold. They sold it? Mm -hmm. There's okay. a buyer on the second lot. No. So. Do we have a specific assessment based on this? Yeah, it was 13 and change. Uh, I thought it was 14. 13,000. 13,000. Okay. Sorry. So, I didn't uh, print. Can I just ask a question first? Yeah. Were there other properties, aka 8092, that uh, had, were, fell under the same thing? I hadn't checked into that. Specifically, you, you think there's. Uh, yeah, I think Mr. Munson is listed as 80 and 92, and it may be the same. I believe that's been subdivided in the interim, so I'm wondering if that was the same situation that occurred there. You, you did that on Salem Straits, too. You had an extra possible lot in one of the cul-de-sacs. I'm sorry, I didn't print laid out all those pages. And you put an extra lateral in. We did on one place. Yeah. But I, that I didn't. I'm oh, sorry. You need that? No, no, I was going to say, I didn't print the page, but if you look at 80, 80 slash 92 in the, um, in the, uh, in the listing here. Uh, I just had two houses on there. Probably. Hmm? There was two on there? I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, I the swimming the pool. had two houses on there. Okay, then one was a teeny tiny. Yes, one was like a cottage. Okay. Only because I know the new ones. Uh, let's at, see. The one in Salem Straits Project, that was, um, Oh, but it is, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm seeing it over here. So you're saying we're over here saying two, right? Yeah. Okay. There's two lots. We only assess two lots one time because there's one house. Okay. Let me just, that's let me the kind of thing to do. On um, Salem Straits, the, what you're referring to, um, it's not a house straddling a property line. It's a house with additional lot extra land contiguous but deemed excess land and in a case like that we also put an extra lot in in case anybody says no i don't need that excess land that's a lot it wasn't a lot before i couldn't put a septic in there but now the sewer's there yeah. i can develop it that's just smart to think ahead like you yeah. did here yeah but there was three acres there and you know, the likelihood was a possibility of a maybe and you threw in a lot of smart yeah it's interesting i'm i'm seeing a town gis uh, a house on 80 one neck point road and i'm also seeing another house at 92 on 90 one neck okay point road and there is no second currently assessment. 92 one neck point road yeah that's i'm confused and, and here too the now the house on 80 uh was built well, 80s was built when they did that whole like road road that went over that went between Long Neck and Pear Tree. You know that it was a dirt road for the longest yeah. time. Is that Crane? No. No, no Crane is a is crane. a dead end road. Where the house was, and they put houses in between. I don't know when they did that. Goes, uh, that no, it was later than that because I was still doing the swimming pool at Munson, and we just gripped it and ripped it and let it food out and fly down there because it was not the woods. <clears throat> So uh, 90 must, 92 must be 90. I would assume so because it was, they had hit their house and then it was a dirt road and then there was, I'm trying there to care. Their house and then there was, okay. There may have been a small house, but it's not. Small house split but, in but then why, why would not be listed as two parcels? That was big enough for two parcels. 80 and 92 were split in 2008. And when they built 92, what did, did they have to pay an assessment? Well, it's something a good, something good to look into. We're not going to solve right now, but would you no. guys be willing to look at it? The numbers 92. Uh, 80, 90, oh, 90, 92, actually. Long 90, Neck Point Road. Became, we believe 92 became 90. Yes, that's correct. Okay. 
The numbers are 80, 92. And maybe 90. 80, 90, 92. Yes, yes. we believe that 92 is no longer in existence, but we could be wrong. Now, the triggering moment for this, Darren, it ne isn't necessarily the subdivision because somebody could have bought the house with the both lots and put it back together. It's when one sells, when one sells and the house gets demoed. Two of two. Then the second assessor. That's two correct. Thousand. I believe there was a resubdivision too. Not the, I don't know if that matters, but. Oh, the they the line or something? I yeah, I think so. they messed around with the property line to they might have. somehow site the houses better, but I, I don't know if that's relevant. They have their own dock. They have two separate. No, a dock. They didn't no. get it? No, they're going to make two docks. That's what I said. They each have their own dock. Yeah, they each have their own dock. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right. So uh, back to the item on the agenda. The item on the agenda relates to uh, the sewer assessment for 214 Long Neck Point Road. Uh, uh, we find, uh, so I guess I'm looking for a motion that uh, given that they are uh, splitting the lots, uh, there is a second assessment due on the uh, created second lot. Um, no, 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 the lots have conveyed. Not only were they split, they conveyed to two different owners. Because <coughs> yeah. I think Craig, just splitting them, oh. it could have, one buyer could have, like the Ewing estate, when oh. they had the subdivision, but they never sold the parcel. I think the triggering event is, there's one house, there's already a house built on one lot, oh. and a different owner on the second lot. So the lots have not only been divided on paper, they've been sold separately. Yeah, okay. But so for us, someone's going to need a new connection. Exactly. That doesn't have a right to be connected. So now we charge them the fee. Yes. But the logic behind it isn't just the planning zone subdivision driving the bus. It's the the lots were sold separately and need separate connections. Yes. Okay. I agree with all of that. Do you want a motion? Yeah. If it was still one house, it wouldn't be asking. It. Right. Is there an unintended consequence here that they're going to argue over who owes the fee? That's their problem. So. Okay. Uh, well, they the owner, there's, there's, someone's bought the second lot, so there's a, there's a fee. Who are we charging? The fee owner, the fee owner of the property right now. Which property? The second the new lot one. further. The new one. The newly the created. The southerly most lot was the most recent one sold. And, right? Okay. Recent. Yeah, the one closer to the point. So the first, the first one to go was the one closest to the water, which is the north. No, they both own, they both have waterfront. Well, this they is both this have waterfront, but one of them, in order for them to site two houses. They had to. Oh, they you're, thinking, side by you're side. thinking the footprint. Yeah, the one that just sold is closer to the end of Long End Point. The one yes. that sold first is closer. More to the south. Church. That's correct. The north one is not coming up. Come on. Are you making a motion? I'll make a motion that we assess the current owner of the lot closer to the end of Long End Point. Two eighteen. Two eighteen. Oh, is that new, okay? The that newly number? created address. Two eighteen. It's not newly because it's famous. Newly. It isn't. So, well, what's newly? Wordsmith. It's already, they've already built the house on the other side. But in this, it's they, according, they, according they, to this, it's a year ago. So 214. This, there was no 218 here. Okay. So it's newly created to this list. 214 is paid. It's already paid. So it's very bad as me. All right, I make a motion that we <laughs> assess 218 a fee for connection purposes of $13,344, correct? In zero cents. Well, we could do that too. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll second it. Up. Susan seconds the motion. Uh, any further discussion on the motion? All those in favor? I don't care. Susan, That's fine. Susan got the second. Cameron. I've caused enough problems. She can do it. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, the is zero. Beautiful problem. It's a good uh, thing that Desperado didn't bring his gun in. Uh, uh, Desperado, yeah. Uh, I have no agenda state of Connecticut, Connecticut nitrogen treating credits. Oh, yeah. Okay. One you got to pay attention to. Yep. Some more money, more money, more money. Right. Is there money in there? All right. Oh, oh yeah, we're we still spilling too much nitrogen and it's benefiting the city of Stanford. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which in turn benefits us at a rate of 0.1574 huh? of 1.5 million. How much? Oh, what percent? Well, so that's $237,000. Not quite nice. as good as last year, but. Last year they were up over two and a half million. In we won't need to uh, raise the rates this year. And that's probably not going to happen. But <laughs> I do. I like your optimism. 
Back, back baby. Yeah. Okay. So, Ed, back story on that, there's a secondary market for nitrogen credits and they, there's a price for being able to sell them. Yeah. Yes. We don't know what they're if going to be. If you make more and there's other towns that need them, you yeah. can sell them. And that's how it And the need drives the price. <laughs> see, because you get, you get a limit and Stanford's limit is 926, uh, what the heck's the term? I forgot, I forgot what the term is. Is it pounds per day? Pounds? And they, their average has been a third of that. Oh wow! So they, they, they run the. Mr. Badalka has run the plant extremely well. Which is good for Long Island Sound because there's not a lot of nitrogen going in from a very large treatment plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Close to New York. Which Close is, to New York. That's Close right. Probably the worst. I don't, I don't know how that doesn't drain well. But see, the, the, see now the plants that dump into Long Island Sound have nitrogen limits. The ones that dump into rivers have real phosphorus limits. Forever an optimist. Item number nine, sewer commission agenda packages <laughs> distribution discussion agendas. Uh, oh yes, are you asking if we want to go back to paper from online? Uh, well, I'm asking you what you'd prefer because we've done both lately and I'm not sure, I mean, emails, we can do that? If that's um, you, or have backups sent to you, I mean. Yeah, I mean, uh, if we're gonna be here, uh, it's certainly easier for me to have a paper copy. Uh, if we're gonna be virtual, I, it doesn't matter because I got two screens and I can do it that way. Uh, yeah, I usually just print maybe, stuff. Maybe that's, that's confusing. Uh, the question under this item, which is uh, we had to have an executive session tonight and um, <clears throat> a special meeting. But are people comfortable meeting in person? Would you prefer to meet virtually? Uh, is there uh, a consensus on that regard? Because this isn't going away anytime soon. And, no. uh, and rates could fluctuate. Uh, well, I know you guys would rather have me be in the other room, so. Um, yeah, I've got the mute button, really. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually have I'm sorry, a mute button. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it. I mean, you could have to actually He's say talking. it. Can anyone read this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's not very nice. Well, we know where my vote is. <laughs> on both things, I like the paper and I like being here. Uh, I can go either way. I'll print which pages I want. You're neutral? Yeah. yeah. I again, I'll, I'll print the pages that I want, but I want to be here. You prefer to meet in person. I, I'd like to look you in the eye and tell you that I disagree with <laughs> you. There's, there's a good opportunity that this place will open up August 1st to residents to come in. That's the scuttled up right now from a town administrator, but that's, that's not set. So yeah, just an idea of what the town phase wall. three. I mean, I don't think we're um, a big enough group where it's an issue. I think we. I can, mean, per personally, uh, Ed or Darren, do you? I mean, you're here anyway, but. Um, this is a meeting with multiple people in a room. Do you have a, a comfort level? I, I'm fine right where I am. Okay. Yeah. okay, it sounds like the consensus I'm is to... I'm closer to people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I do miss hugs, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> um, <no. laughs> Even on a good day. <laughs> that sounds so sincere coming from you. So, <laughs> were, were, would you, would you uh, be adverse to us sending you the package, email, and printing them? Yeah, I, I would like that, actually. Okay. Yeah, that, that would be great. Mm. <clears throat> item number nine, uh, item number 10, uh, uh, reappointment of Darien Sewer Commissioner Peter Van Winkle. I, mean, I would do that in a heartbeat. I wouldn't mind uh, looking at The Board of Selectmen did it. Oh, oh, it's all done. Yes. Oh, we're thank just, you. We just, That's just, we're just, just a notification. I don't know, uh, thank, I'm uh, glad that Peter is re-up for another year. Peter, uh, you're watching. He, yeah, is, uh, <laughs> he is an asset to our commission, and uh, we look forward to participation in meetings in the future. Item number 11, superintendent's report. We, um, we have a meeting with Arcadis in, I'm thinking it's about two weeks. Um, they're still processing, they are possibly still limited to their office access, they were still all working from home. Um, but they are processing the data from what I understand. Um, I have a, a call with, um, with Vanessa um, tomorrow, or tomorrow or Thursday. Do they have like a, uh, is there um, a milestone uh, where they would give a summary of the results that commissioners might be uh, <coughs> interested in hearing? That was the next meeting. We're going to try to set it up so that you folks could at least Watch. attend. Okay. Um, which leads me to how many can attend a meeting and be there? Hey, can we do a conference call? Does that actually count as a meeting? Um, this virtual thing is nice if it doesn't count as for, a meeting. For, for, for my opinion, uh, 
three commission members in the same place, even if it's on the phone, um, discussing uh, sewer commission uh, relevant material is a meeting. Okay. And would have to be noticed. Is this so. a huge burden to ask them to come to one of our meetings at 4.30? Yeah. And just put them on the agenda, Craig? I, I think it's uh, the part where I'd ask the same question you just asked of me about being in the same room. I think that's oh, I see. A courtesy we need you to extend to anyone that we invite. But them. maybe if one of them. But I don't think there would be an issue. And it's also not very hard for us to, uh, you know, in a week say we're just going to have a special meeting, notice it, and no yeah. one's going to show up anyway, and we could run it virtually if that's easier for them. If they want to do something online, that's totally cool. We can set that up. They can set that up. Well, we got to set it up because we got to run it as a meeting. Yeah. So a regular meeting or special meeting. Yeah. Um, or, or I'll ask her about that because I think they, they were talking about whether to get my group as a, you know. It's either that or we, and, you know, we pick two people to pay attention, but I, I think. I think we have to find out. I think all of us are kind of all curious, right? Right? We're totally yes. curious. No, I mean, I know there's there's got to be leaks out there. I mean, has, have they found anything that just jumps out and says, you know, hey, you might want to look at this? That would, yes. that would ruin the whole story. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, you yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute. You didn't see the chart on Birch Road? <laughs> Birch, Birch Road is pretty high. The water's down here. I, I will tell you that if after the two sessions out there, they had found nothing, I'd be talking to you about another consultant right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's exciting. They did found some, find some good stuff. Uh, they told us not to fix it or attempt to do any of the fixing because that will ruin the rest of the, the data as you, and, and oh, as you move down the stream. Oh, down it's that's like, like there. So wait a minute. This would, and we're on camera. Okay, I'm going to say it. But they're, they're, they're That's how we do it, man. What? <laughs> oh, the I, I, I did not want to say the ex word. Uh, yeah. um, all right. Excessive. Oh, excessive. Yeah. Excessive. Uh, <laughs> anything else under the superintendent's report? It's bad when I have Seagate to explain my station, jokes. Darren, any update? Not really. We're still working on electrical pricing. Documents are almost finished. Okay. We'll get some prices on that quickly. Uh. N we're nothing further to discuss under item 12. Uh, we took that under uh, executive session. Um, any new business to attend yes. to this evening? <laughs> um, please, yes, please. I sent, I passed out some stuff. Did everybody get this? Oh yeah, yeah where did Victor? Thank you. Yep. Okay. I thought that no. was. We got another one. I thought that was for the chimney. No, I didn't get one. You get one. I didn't get one. Share with you, we'd be violating social distancing. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, uh, motion to go into executive session to discuss. Uh, no, no, no. no, no. no well, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for correcting my, <laughs> I will be my sleepy words. Uh, motion to go into new business, new business. for uh, this Mansfield Greens Limited Partnership. I'll make a motion we go into new business. Second. So. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are in new business. Go, Darren, go. And I didn't um, the commission, to remind the commission, um, there, was a, there was a developer sewer from Peach Hill to Oxbridge School Driveway. Installed by a guy named David Mixter. Um, I just handed out a letter, um, which you have seen before, because uh, it relates to the project having been paid off. Mission entertained that this is one of the reasons we're talking about connection fees. The, the developer's project has been paid off. The uh, terms of the developer agreement are terminated a long time ago. And the commission has heard a similar case like this. Um, 301 Mansfield Avenue, uh, a resident, a purchaser of the house appears before you asked to connect to the sewer and the commission passed a motion to um, forgive the pro rata share due and the reason was the commission rested upon the fact that there was no lateral to the property line and um, he was some distance away from the sewer so and that and your recollection that that the costs had been fully recouped by the developer. That is correct. 
Which was, so, I think it, that was discovered later, right? The actual. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Found the, no, you found the paper trail. Oh. You're, found the you're absolutely correct. If the motion yeah. was conditional and, you, and that they would assume the responsibility that if it ever appeared, and then we did find the letter, which amazing. I included just now. Well, it's interesting. So, uh, you know, maybe we should take a vote be, because the previous motion was conditional and make an unconditional. Make it unconditional. <coughs> I don't think we have to rely on the previous vote at all. We can kind of. Yeah. Yeah. We just. I mean. I mean. Do you do to just clean the record up so that there's no clawback and we make the record clear? Is that is that appropriate to take that? Uh, well, but then. I mean, okay. I mean, it'll be clear until two months from now, and we have a con connection fee schedule, and then it'll be clear again. Do we, we have somebody else who wants to? No, help? I'm just so, no. stating. So we have a do nothing option? Is this, is this regarding or a do something option? option? Or is this something new? <laughs> no, I didn't agree with him being charged no, nothing do then, and I can't agree with it no. again now. Well, do so we, you do with it what you want. We, we, I got we, it. we looked at the one across from Andrews, right? On uh, Old Highway South. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Uh, O'Brien. Did we come up with like a thousand dollars or yeah, something? Yeah, based on but that yeah. was based on the cost of that particular sewer and that being divided amongst potential people that could end up connecting. And so okay. we did. There was we math did. On that one. We, we had data uh, to uh, get to that fee. Okay. And the argument could be made in that case that that project will never be paid off. There's not enough people that will ever connect to it to recoup our legal fees. Yeah. Could make that argument. Yeah, is, is, there, any, legal, but I don't know. Yeah. is yeah. there any thought that um, this one coming in just before the ordinance possibly for a connection fee, um, is there any timing? Is the fact that he's here now asking for this? Oh, someone's asking for something? No, this was, I thought Darian. This is just clearing it up. No, 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 this is a new no. one. It's the same, no, same sewer shack. To be clear, number 265 Mansfield oh. has a failed septic system and they are connecting. And they, do they have a lot Oh, I didn't even, sorry. There's no lateral, they're going to have to go off the street. So same thing as 301. But we now there are similarities. we've now thought through the connection fee of properties that may be connecting to an existing sewer, yeah. even if it's and fully paid off being X very soon. But it's not. Yes. And, it's not and and that was what I was asking. Is I didn't I didn't know the part of the failing something. What if they were to hold on so, for nine months okay. and do anything? So the question is, one, do we move forward with the precedent that we set in this particular situation? <coughs> yep. Yes. Or or, uh, or or not? And now try to apply a, a, a connection fee that we haven't yet set, which so you can tell where I'm not in favor of. Well, that's no. where I brought up. That, <laughs> that's, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Greg, that's why I brought up uh, Andrew Shrive and yeah. uh, South was South. We did come up with a number based on some fuzzy math, including yeah. litigation. Maybe yeah, you set a precedent already with the one before. That I, yeah, I, I, no, look, I, I, we can't change what we did. I like what you're saying. And if they happen to come in in four months, we yep. would be charging them in accordance with our fees. And that's why we set about this process to actually set a fee. We just haven't gotten there yet, so lucky now. Timing yep. is everything. Yep. We're in before the board. Well, Craig, I could go with that logic. I could support that totally. Yep. What do you need us to do, Darren? You can do whatever you want. Do you, you want a motion? I would just like to know. I would like to tell these people, you owe us money or you don't. All right, I'll make a motion that given that in the same sewer shed with the, the fully updated information that it is fully paid for, that we follow precedent and charge the yeah, yeah. Right now, the town of Darien does, does not, not have, have a, a connection fee. And there's Period. no lateral at this point. There's right. no lateral. That they have the, to go all the way out in the, the street. It's the same for the other exactly. themselves. There happens to be a sewer so there. They have but to put the lateral in. So it, it follows the exact same yeah. circumstance as a pre-existing case that. that we've adjudicated and charged. So we have a first, we have a second. Do we have any further discussion on the motion? All those in favor of allowing the connection with no fee, uh, all those opposed for allowing the connection with no fee. It's going to stay. You going to stay in your chair? You got another arm. <laughs> that one's not uh, so good. I fell down the stairs. There. <clears throat> Any other new business? A compliment for the time. Hold on. Uh, motion to adjourn in Peter's honor. I'll move that. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you, Channel 79. Meeting is over. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for a lot of work you put in. Yeah, the townspeople, thank you. Uh, not just, it would not be just quite a bill. I just.